Hey, brother. Bills, congratulations. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Really excited about this bill and thanking the councilman for really uh, thinking differently of how we deal with equality in the real way in our city and for hearing the concerns of not only his constituents, uh, but throughout the city, those who in any way were denied opportunities uh, for any reason at all. And we're here today for a public hearing and bill signing for intro 209-A, <clears throat> which prohibits discrimination on the basics of a person's height or weight in opportunities of employment, housing, and access to public accommodations. We all deserve the same access to employment, housing, and public accommodation, regardless of our appearance, and it shouldn't matter how tall you are or how much you weigh. When you're looking for a job and you're out on our town or you're trying to get some form of accommodation or apartment to rent, you should not be treated differently. And this intro 209-8A prohibits discrimination on the basics of a person's height or weight or any other physical appearance. It helps to level the playing field for all New Yorkers. It creates more inclusive works, places, and living environments, and it protects against discrimination. It does, however, allow for exemptions in cases where an individual's weight or height will prevent them from performing essential requirements of the job. So I want to really thank uh, Council Member Sean Abreu for introducing this bill and Council Member Natasha Williams for their support of this bill. And at this time, I'd like to open the floor uh, to uh, any public comments. And we want to start with Josh uh, Kellerman. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you to the mayor and to council member Abreu for the opportunity to be here today. My name is Josh Kellerman. I'm the director of public policy at the retail, wholesale, and department store union, RWDSU. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the importance of this law we're, we're signing today. Banning height and weight discrimination in employment, housing, and public accommodation will change lives. It will raise this issue nationally and internationally. It will provide new economic opportunities for people and it will begin changing our culture and how we treat people who are fat, little, or otherwise don't fit into the mold our society pushes us into. Thank you to the mayor, to Councilmember Abreu, and also to the agency who will be responsible for implementing this law, the Commission on Human Rights. I'd like to extend our thanks to the Retail Action Project, a worker center that builds power among non-union retail workers, many of whom are directly impacted by this form of discrimination. And lastly, I'd like to extend a heartfelt thanks to NAFA for their dogged leadership on this issue and their unwillingness to give up this fight that they've been holding since the 60s. Here's to many more fights alongside you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we have another uh, public com comment from Tigris Osborne. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, thank you, Mayor Adams. Thank you, Council Member Abreu. And um, we thank all the members of the New York City Council who supported this bill um, and those before this session who supported the early work on this bill. Um, as the chair of the National Association to Advance Fat Acceptance and a co-founder of the Campaign for Size Freedom, I am so thrilled at the example that New York City is setting today. We all know, y'all know, New York is the global city. Mm -hmm. And this will ripple across the, across the globe um, in terms of showing to people all over the world that discrimination against people based on their body size is wrong and is something that we can change. We can't legislate attitudes, but we can do what we, um, everything that's in our power to ensure that people are treated equally and that people have equal opportunity under the law. So thank you everyone 
who, um, who worked on this bill and everyone who supports this work across the country and all over the world. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll now <clears throat> invite the sponsor of the bill, uh, Council Member Sean Abreu. Thank you, Mayor Adams. I am incredibly honored to be here today with you. Your eagerness to stand with us in the fight against height and weight discrimination sends a critical message that this is a new day in New York City, and I couldn't be more grateful. I look across this room and I see all the advocates that fought for years, even decades, to make this happen. I would like to acknowledge Tigers Osborne, Lydia Green, Josh Kellerman, Victoria Abraham, Dr. Nodell, the Commission on Human Rights team right here who negotiated with us on this bill, and others that I have had the privilege of working side by side with to propel this legislation across the finish line. None of this would be possible without you. To those who share their intimate stories of experiencing size discrimination and weight stigma, who devoted their time and their lives to make our society more equal, more dignified, and more just, I say thank you. Today is a monumental advancement for civil rights, size freedom, and body positivity. And while our laws are only now catching up to our culture, it is a victory that I hope will cause more cities, states, and one day the federal government to follow suit. No one should have to live with the silent burden of size discrimination, to feel as if they are defined by their stature rather than their character. I'm very proud to join the mayor today in standing strong for diversity and inclusion, to be building a city that cares about how it treats and protects its citizens. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. Do some off-topics, huh? On topic. On top. She has an on topic? Yes, Sean. This is Sarah Rangayo from the Spanish community. Uh, this is about uh, avoiding discrimination. Um, and equal opportunities. But some people think, uh, though, that this loss um, is a way to protect obesity uh, again, instead of fighting against the health issues. What would you answer to those critics? Okay, I didn't, I, I didn't hear it clear enough. Uh, some people 
think that this is uh, fighting against obesity? What would you say to the critics who say, uh, instead of fighting that? Uh, no, I don't think it is. Uh, you know, everyone knows that uh, I'm a person that believes in uh, health. Uh, so when you talk about not discriminating against someone because of their body type, it's not fighting against obesity. It's just being fair. And so I think this is, this is the right thing to do. We should, we, we're going to continue to talk about uh, our progressive health agenda. And science has shown that body type is not a connection to if you're healthy or unhealthy. And I think that's a misnomer that we are, we are really dispelling. And, Okay. All right. All right, brother. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you.